Ronaldo, do you have children? If not, why? Uh, no, because I'm too selfish. I have no desire <laughs> to be responsible for uh, for for someone. That means I have to take away from my life. Like right now, I'll give you an example. Right now, I have POA, power of attorney for a family member, helping them out to relocate and stuff like this. And it's a lot of responsibility. Once you have responsibility for someone else, uh, it, it, you're sacrificing your own life right it's okay to do and that's part of life but i'm too selfish for that shit right <laughs> oh god seattle visitors i believe uh real zero more. halo anniversary happened too mass overhauls was it cool cool uh fpe rivers what is the discussion about we're talking about halo video games <laughs> We went from genocide to Halo, right? And Halo has genocide in it, so maybe it's a smooth transition. I don't know. Blue Ox, open discussion. It is an open discussion. We can talk about whatever people want to talk about, which is good. I like it. Yo, yo, me. At least you're frank about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. When I was younger, I wanted lots of kids. I wanted 11 kids to have a soccer team. Right? As I got older and started appreciating the finer things in life, I mean, you know, um, I'd like to have a Hoyo the Monterey Devil Chrono. Okay, we'll sacrifice two kids for that. So we'll just go with nine kids. Oh, I like to enjoy a fine drink now every now and then, right? Okay, uh, two more kids gone. We're down to what, seven kids? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I like to eat fine food. Okay, two more kids gone. Okay, we're down to five kids. And slowly you started knocking those kids off. <laughs> I've been at zero kids for a long time. <laughs> but I love kids. I love children. That's why I teach, right? Uh, their, their brains are amazing. and they, uh, they're, I, find, I find interacting with my students a lot more enjoyable than interacting with adults because students, youth, have more of an open mind. They're willing to learn. They know they have a lot to learn. They're not brainwashed. They're not jaded, unless they've been in centralized indoctrination centers for too long, and I have to unjade them, right? So most kids, if they've they come from a good family and uh, and loving family, they're not jaded. Most adults, they're jaded. <laughs> so I'd rather be with non-jaded people than jaded people. What are you What are you teaching? I teach math, math and physics for the longest time for the longest time for the longest time let's see how our thing which is doing okay good 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 uh, uh, availability Gabe Newell actually had uh, this thought process making half-life one he said realism was boring and being creative was more fun well, to each their own right to each their own right I'm also too selfish to have children. Yeah, me and all the gods see eye to eye on a few things. <laughs> Yuki, some people are natural caretakers and it's fulfilling for them, but it's not for everyone. Yeah, agreed. And I've met many of them, right? Many of them. Right? Like for me, I've been around kids, right? Like one of the things, I've helped raise kids. I'm godfather to five kids, right? Um, but I, my, my boundaries are, are not as tight as most parents, right? Like, I used to have my little cousins come and stay with me. We would do movie nights, right? And the pirate bay is your friend. So <laughs> we do movie nights. And I would show them movies, all types of different movies. One of the movies that, and my cousins at the time were like four, six, and eight, right? Like, one of the movies that I would show them and they would come over and they, they wanted to watch it again was Crippled Masters, right? Shaw Brothers movie, Shaw Brothers Hong Kong, China, Shaw Brothers movie. And I would show them a lot of subtitled movies, right? But Crippled Masters. What's Crippled Masters about? Crippled Masters is about a gang from medieval period, right? The Elder God would know this for sure. Medieval period. Uh, and they brought two actors in one of them didn't have legs and the other one didn't have arms right so at the beginning they pretend that you know the 
they do <laughs> enactments of this uh, gang, bad gang, you know, dissolves the arms of one of them and dissolves the legs of another one. And the story is about this armless guy and this legless guy getting together and fighting these this bad gang, right? Fantastic movie. And then six, eight, what is it? <laughs> six, eight, and 10 or four, six, and eight-year-olds, they loved it. They loved it. <laughs> they are well adjusted now. They are well adjusted now. My sister, Eldegon says, I basically brought up my sister in 1990s kung fu and horror movies. Nice. They are well adjusted now, he says. <laughs> Funny. Uh, 